Hi everyone, it's Music with Miss Emmy and Father Mark. Hello everyone, I missed you. We are so excited to be back with our November Together in Faith music time with all of you. Young and old, we hope that you have fun with us today. So to begin our time together, let's start by saying hello. So let's hope you remember this from last month. Do you think you got it? I think I got it. All right. Say hello to Father Mark. Hello, Father Mark. Hello, Father Mark. Hello, Father Mark. It's great to see you here. Okay, now it's time to say hello to Miss Emmy. You ready? Hello, Miss Emmy. Hello, Miss Emmy. time hello everyone ready set go hello everyone hello everyone hello everyone it's great to see you here awesome it's so great to see you here during this time together we like to pray and sing and have fun all in the name of god um, and in community with our family and friends with to, and together in faith. So as we begin our time today, let's uh, start our time of prayer with the sign of the cross, the sign of our faith. Are you ready, Father Mark? I'm ready. All right. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, three in one. This is how the sign of the cross is made. We bless ourselves before we pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. All right. Well, now that we've started our prayer time, let's give praise and thanksgiving to God. And here's a little secret. Our whole time today is going to be about giving praise and thanksgiving to God. So let's start off with a song that everyone knows. I think this is Father Mark's favorite song. It is favorite. <laughs> Let's see if we remember this chorus here. God is so good. So those of you at home, follow Father Mark for the sign language. That is one another way we can pray with our body. No hide a death can separate. No steadfast love who can escape. Faithfulness and endless sea. So full of grace. I saw you, a lot of good things have happened. Can you name something good that's happened to you in the last month since we last saw you? Hmm. Father Mark, what's one thing that's good that's happened to you in the last month? Singing with my friends. All right. I love to sing with my friends and praise God. He it's, sure does. <laughs> it's hard to top that one. I did get to go see my mom and dad this month, and that was pretty special for me. So, 
I'm going to say what Father Mark said, but also that I got to see my mom and dad. Can you tell your family and your friends that you're singing with what's one good thing that happened to you this month? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's give that to God as we sing one last time. God is so good. so much, God. You are so good, and we're so glad to have you in our lives. So as always, we look at scripture, which is um, the Bible. That's another way we call it, what something else we call the Bible is scripture, to see which is the word of God, and it's a way that God speaks to us. So in the gospel of John chapter 12, verse 24, God tells us through Jesus, Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Now, this passage might be a little confusing as to what it means. But what God is talking about, or God through as Jesus, what Jesus is telling us in this scripture passage, is that sometimes we have to make sacrifices. But that God always gives us so much to be grateful for and admits those sacrifices so that we can grow from them. And a sacrifice, what might that be? That's something that we have to give up or something that we do that's uncomfortable or that we might not like to do so that we be can become stronger in our body, mind, and soul. So Father Mark, can you tell us something that you've had to do, give up, that's made you stronger or happier? Yes. Um... When I get up, and I, I love to sleep. I like to stay, especially in this cold weather, right? We get to stay in bed and it's nice and warm. But I get up early, early, early at 5 o'clock in the morning so that I could give my day to God and that quietness. So my sacrifice that I offer up to God is to give him some of my sleep so that I can praise and glorify him and give him thanks for all that he's given to me in my day. So my sacrifice is to a, a, an hour of sleep early in the morning to be able to give to God and he repeat repays me by, by um, this great hour of prayer that I spend mm. with him in front of the sacrament. So that's my, that's my sacrifice. That is a big sacrifice. That would be a huge sacrifice for me. And so thank you, Father Mark, for making that sacrifice because I know there's been a lot of fruit or a lot of good things that have come out of that, like Father Mark, um, his prayer life and his relationship with God. But also there's a number of people that come and pray with you in the morning, right? So because of that sacrifice, oh, there's a lot of people that get to also come and pray and grow closer to God. Now, this year in 2020, we've had to make a lot of sacrifices with the pandemic. We've had to maybe not be able to see our friends and family as much as we like, not been able to go to the parks or go to our favorite restaurants or stores, um, maybe not been able to travel when we want to travel and go see people in places that we love. And so we offer those sacrifices to God. We offer that wheat and say, God, I give this to you so that I may grow closer to you and be happier and stronger in my faith. So because we have such a good God, he takes our sacrifices and makes them good. And for that, we can say, thanks be Jesus. to God. We amen. say, amen. And we say this at mass all the time. Next time you go to church or you watch it on um, YouTube, our YouTube channel, count how many times we say thanks be to God at Mass. I think you'll be quite surprised how often we say it. So to practice that gratitude and practice that grace and thanksgiving that we have, because we have to sometimes give up things, we're going to sing a song called Thankful. Thankful. 
Are you ready, Father Mark? I'm ready. All right. Let me make my guitar ready, and then we'll be ready to sing. So we're going to start um, singing the verses, and then we're going to go to the chorus. And I want you to watch Father Mark. He's going to show you the hand movement so that you can dance and sing along. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. I just want to lift my hands, say that I love him. I just want to lift my heart in I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful, I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. Awesome. So now that you've seen Father Mark go through that, let's go through that one more time so that when we sing this again, you can dance and do those and sing with us. So when we say, I want to be thankful, we're going to lift our hand in the air. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. We're going to do this with our hands. We're going to swing them back and forth like we're um, holding something grateful or praying, giving thanksgiving to God. And so then we're going to say, I want to remember everything. Watch Father Mark's hands. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. Yeah, I like that. I want to be thankful. Back to that fist pump. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be awesome. You're such a good helper, Father oh, Mark. <laughs> Not a helper. He's our leader. So we're very grateful to have him here with us, leading you guys in song and prayer. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. I just want to lift my hands, say that I love him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. Ready, everyone? I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful, I want to remember everything the Lord has done. I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. Let's do that one more time, everybody. Ready? I want to be thankful. I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. One more. I want to be. I want to be. I want to be. Amen. All right. Well, I hope that this week and this month, until our next uh, Music with Miss Emmy and Father Mark, I hope you can find a lot of things to be grateful for. And when um, I hope you find some things you can sacrifice to grow stronger and happier with God. And always remember, be thankful for the gifts that God has given you. Say, we can always proclaim, thanks be to God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Bye. See you next month.